Hello Harry. Now that I have signed for Spurs, I thought I would give this press conference to tell you the truth about why I came to White Hart Lane. Okay William, well we all know you're a terrific lad, with a terrific attitude, so please tell all the Spurs fans why you are here. To be honest, nobody else wanted me. Didn't Arsenal offer you a contract? Um, well, yes. But they only offered me a one-year deal and they said that I had to take a pay cut. But that's exactly what we offered you, William. A one-year deal and a pay cut. Yes, that's true. But I thought that if I turned it down at Arsenal, then they would come back with a better offer. And? And they told me to fuck off. Well, that's okay, William. You're a terrific lad. With a terrific attitude. At least when Arsenal told you to fuck off. You came to Spurs next. Well, actually, Harry. Actually what, William? Actually, I wanted to sign for Juventus. But they wouldn't pay my wages. That's okay, William. At least you came to Spurs next. Well, actually, Harry. I tried to sign for Fnabache. But they wouldn't pay my wages. Okay, William. Well, you're a terrific lad. With a terrific attitude. At least you came to Spurs next. Celtic. Pardon me. I tried to sign for Celtic. Fucking hell, William. Don't tell me. They wouldn't pay my wages. So, you only came to Spurs after you tried to sign for Arsenal, then Juventus, then Fnabach, hey, then Celtic. And when they all told you to fuck off because you were demanding too much money, you came to Spurs instead. Um, yes. Well, you see. The transfer window was about to close and I was getting desperate. So you only came to Spurs because you were desperate? Because nobody else wanted you? I'm afraid so. Mr. Wenger told me to fuck off, because my wage demands were too high. He also said that I was a stroppy little cunt. That I was bad for team morale and that everyone at Arsenal hated my guts because I had acted like a prick in the past. But I thought you were a terrific lad. With a terrific attitude. It's okay, William. You are now a Spurs player and you will slot in fine playing cover. For King and Basong. What the fuck? I didn't come here to sit on the bench. But William. King and Basong are our first choice centre backs. Then Dawson. Then you. Fuck you, Harry. I am a first team player. I demand that I am picked for the first team. Listen. Don't get stroppy with me. I am the manager. And I make the decisions. Bollocks. William Gallus makes the decisions about William Gallus. I want to be picked for the first team. King and Besson can fuck off. And Dawson can shove it up his ass. William. This will be bad for team morale and it will upset the other players. Fuck the other players and fuck off yourself. I will play first team football or you will be sorry. Right. That's it, William. I thought you were a terrific lad, with a terrific attitude. Everyone laughed when I signed you, but I told them it was a no-brainer and that what they were saying was cobblers. But it seems that it was a no-brainer for the wrong reasons. And signing you is cobblers. Ha ha ha. I don't give a fuck what you think, Harry. You are a dodgy old tax-dodging wanker anyway. If you don't pick me, I will sit in the center circle and cry like a pussy. Then I will sulk in the dressing room and I go to the newspapers and talk shit about your players and your team. I think I might have made a huge mistake. Oh bollocks, what have I done? I thought you were a terrific lad, with a terrific attitude. But it seems that you are a stroppy little cunt like Mr. Wenger said. I should have listened to him. Fuck off. It's too late now. I have signed the contract and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh bollocks.